Hi, this is Paula from Alanda Craft and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the dash pattern in Scan and Cut Canvas in order to create scoring lines. Okay, so a good example of this is if you're creating a card, a greeting card. So I'll do that now. We'll come into Basic here and we'll just choose the Square option. Okay, now I'm going to just change the size of this to a sort of a standard card size. So I'll come up to Properties on the menu and I'm going to uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio and change the first size to 8.5 and the second one to 11. I mean you can use whatever you like here. This is just an example. Okay, and I'll close that off. So there's my card. Now with a card as you know you need to get a fold line in the middle here in order to fold the card over. So that's what I want to do. So the way to do that is we come up to the path tool. You see this on the menu bar here. Path, click on that. And what we're going to do is just click once at the top here. You don't have to be accurate, just eyeball it for the moment because we'll center this up in a minute. But we'll come into the middle here, somewhere in the middle, and click on that top line once with your mouse. Okay, and then if you move your mouse, you'll see this line follow you. That's good, we want that. But in order to keep that straight, all you need to do is hold down the shift key. So if I press the shift key, you can see each time I press it, it brings it into the middle and lines it up perfectly for me. So I'm going to hold it down and then move my mouse down to the bottom here and then click on the, this bottom line. Click once, let the shift key go and then if you don't click again, see what happens? This follows you everywhere. So you need to just click one more time on there. So click twice in other words in order to finish it. Now you can see the line is still highlighted. Okay, We want that to still be highlighted because we want to come up to properties again. Click on that and then down the bottom here you'll see this dash pattern option. Okay, so click on the drop down there and you get all these dashed lines here, all different options. Now it depends on what you're using as to what you choose. Different things will work better. For instance, cardstock, I tend to use this one. Um, but you can look, play around with it depending on the thickness of your paper. Okay, but I usually tend to go with this one here. So I'll select that and that has actually put, if I click somewhere else, you'll see that. That's our dashed line and that is actually a scoring line. It'll create those dots when it, when it um, cuts and it creates a nice scoring line for you. Now at the moment it's not centered. Alright, so we need to center it up first. So I'm going to click and drag to highlight everything. Okay, so everything's highlighted. Come up to edit. And we're going to select the center option here under the align tools. Click that. Alright, so it was pretty much centered anyway because it didn't move much, so it was pretty accurate there. But that's made sure that it is now centered. Okay, now uh, the other problem here is that it's not grouped. See what happens if I move? Everything comes out of place. So I'm just going to undo that. And the way to group it is to click and drag to highlight everything. Then right click with your mouse. You'll get this pop up up here. And then you'll see the group option. Okay, so you just click on that. Alright, so if I move that now, you can see that has now worked. Okay, so that would be ready to go. I'd come up here, give it a name, and then I'd download it. So that would be a card template that you can use. Okay, let's just try something else because you can potentially put a scoring line on anything you like or put a dash line on anything you like, even shape. So if I come back into basic and I'll just choose a circle here for instance. Okay, so while it's highlighted, all you need to do is come up to properties again and then dash pattern and, and you just choose whatever dash pattern you like, something like that for instance. So I mean I could potentially see this working for something like um, maybe if you had, if I went in and grabbed say a square and did that and then I'll send that to the back. Alright so I can grab this and then if I just duplicated those along the page here I mean, there could be some sort of, I don't, I don't know what you'd, what you'd use for it, maybe coupon codes you could put in here that people could push out. Um, so I could just keep duplicating them down the page like that. And so often then print them out like that. You'd have some sort of writing on here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what you do, but that's an option for you. So any of these you can do, even with text, you could, you could even put a scoring line over or a dash pattern on your, on your text as well, like that. So it depends what you're doing with it, but um, that's the fun you can have with um, the dash pattern thing, but great for scoring lines. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, remember that we do have premium training programs for you. I've put the link in the description field below if you're learning about 
um, cutting fabric for your scan and cut or cutting paper or whatever you might be doing we've got advanced training courses for you so just click on the description field below and if this tutorial was helpful for you give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel